Ooh, Bain oh. got loosened up there. There was contact. And that going to complete this pass. Power Back move, baby. Here. Woo! Here, here comes Paul Menard on the outside. Watch this. Oh, oh no. no. Contact. Kyle Busch oh, got my bounced gosh. around. Unbelievable Did save it, by not only Kyle, but Paul Menard. Mc, I think McMurray just got into the back of the it's 18 and yet. sent him sailing. Yeah, McMurray right in the midst of that one again. And look at all the momentum Menard lost. And, and that with Kyle Busch from behind sent him to that middle lane. Oh. Did that car just bump the wall? In the racetrack, Kenseth got shuffled. Oh, oh trouble, 55's around. Ooh. Oh, Reed Sorensen oh, head man. on into the infield retaining wall, and that's Corey LaJoy slipping past. He may have gotten into the back of Reed Sorensen as they oh. was going to make it into the Daytona 500. Doing a really, really great job. And he's out of the car, thank goodness. The upper right. Close, close, close racing at this point coming into the trial that was weird ooh, you know just ooh. Corey got a big big push maybe from Kyle Busch behind oh man that's a hit but what I love about what I'm seeing there I know that's a heavy impact but look at that new wall oh, that yeah. Daytona Speedway has put in with a safer barrier Bush uh, hit that wall with, and that's because of the improvements they've made. Watch the 83 get a little, did he get a little loose here? Maybe well, not. He looked for the inside. Yeah, the 55 fell back a little bit. He got a big run, and he went to the go, the, go to the inside. The 83 did of Corey LaJoy, and unfortunately, just made contact in the left rear. It doesn't take just much. Right through this position. travel, Mike. Your car is so, so free through here. If you just touch it, you can spin it out. In real time. Whoa. Oh. 120 mile an hour impact. I guarantee it took driver. him a while to catch his breath on that one. He's going to oh, really yeah. be feeling it tomorrow. Yeah, that, that that right there is exactly where Kyle Busch hit two years ago, and that was not protected like it is now. So good job on the speedways part, and I'm glad that uh, Reed was able. To but uh, oh, oh, Casey King gets loose. Wow, he got bumped by Reagan. David Reagan. Yeah, Reagan yes. gave him on the rear bumper, the 88, and bam. A little bump right in that transition that I talked about. So vulnerable. Yeah, they just saw rubber flying out from under it. He's coming to the pits. So you can see the 48 side drafting. As the 38 comes up here, it looks like he gets in the quarter panel. The 48 yeah, turns him into the 21. Exactly. There's some contact going back here with the 77, too. He reacted to that. That's why wow. you got to be so careful wow. side drafting down that back straightaway. You never can tell what that car in that lane behind you is necessarily going to do. Here's what happened to Eric Jones, the rookie. He's probably going to get some nose damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got a shot. He couldn't yep. anticipate them slowing down like that. Yep. AJ Allmendinger hit the brakes. Now they're on pit road now, and they are on the five minute damage repair clock. I've been in a situation where they patched my car up, and I didn't feel real comfortable being out there. Nope. And we've seen cars have failures, maybe another cut tire, because they didn't really fix it. Or maybe there was something that was damaged that you couldn't see because they did it so quick to get back out there. And not only do they damage their car, maybe cause injury with, to their own driver, but take other innocent victims out as well on the track. And Mike, when you go in the garage on Sunday, Sunday morning. Oh, there's that left rear corner. Oh, we yeah. Talk about Goodness. Wow, great save great by job. Michael Walter.